Yo, check it out. This is Justin Save from Anti Flag, and you're watching Amped Up TV. Peace out. Hi, this is Kevin from Amped Up TV, and we are here at the Garrick today, and we have with us... Justin Sane from Anti-Flag. We have Justin Sane from Anti-Flag here with us, gracing us with his presence. Thank you very much, sir. It's fantastic to be here. Yeah, well, so I guess uh, the way this is going to work is I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Awesome. Do you like answering them? I love answering questions, actually. You know, I enjoy um, other things as well. Long walks on beaches, jazz music. Um, movies with a special and deep feeling. Yes, I enjoy many things. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. You know what? I haven't even asked you a question. It's already going really, really, really I'm well. I'm trying to give you everything. Time, man. <laughs> well, you're doing good so far. I hope I'm doing good for you too. So, you are. so all right. Um, so you guys, Anti Flag, have been together for quite some time. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the history of the band? Yeah. In, in short, um, the band started with myself and Pat Dedek, our drummer. Um, we played together with numerous other members for about five or six years. And then um, our current bass player and guitar player, players that came in um, about that time, five or six years into the band, they've been with us ever since. Okay, cool. Um, you guys had a, uh, you guys broke up for a little while too, didn't you? Around 1992 or 93, you got oh, back together, right? Oh well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's a little overblown. Okay. I mean, okay. Pat and I were playing together, and at one point we had we we had we had bands with numerous names during high school, right. and one name that we had kicked around was the Anti Flag, and it was a name we used for a very short time. And at that time, my sister was in the band, and um, <laughs> and and then you know then. Yeah, it was great. Sister's it was awesome. Yeah, my sister's my sister's a badass. It was totally cool. <laughs> and um, then the uh, at that point though, you know, the band didn't stay together. And then eventually we got back together and and started a band and really decided, you know, to name that band the Anti Flag and be a real serious band. I right. mean, so I really consider Anti Flag as starting at that point. Okay. Um, for for your Canadian viewers of interest, uh, we actually had a, a bass player from Canada, from Toronto, Canada, for quite some time, hmm. and her name was Jamie. And uh, her her nickname though was Cock, because she always used to <laughs> use she always used to say the word Cock instead of Fuck, because she thought it was more obnoxious, and it really was. She was right. <laughs> so anyway, we we uh, bestowed her with the the nickname Cock as a result of that, and. Um, I'm not exactly sure where she is today. I hear that she's living way out uh, on the East Coast, somewhere up in Halifax, possibly. So wherever she is, I hope she's watching. I love you. I hope you're doing well. Good luck, Jamie Cock. Word. Um, so for our viewers out there that, that might not know, um, can you describe the style of music that you play for them? Uh, yeah, I mean, most people would refer to it as punk rock. Um, I, I think that that's a pretty accurate interpretation of it. Um, it's been... You know, highly influenced by bands like The Clash and Dead Kennedys, um, probably more bands that would be considered classic kind of punk bands uh, of the late 70s and the early 80s. But um, there's a lot of contemporary influences too. And, you know, the, the, the members of the band have very diverse interests in music. Um, everything from, you know, Ray Charles to Arcade Fire to, um, to Kid Dynamite to... Uh, you know, whatever hardcore band you want to pull out of the hat. <laughs> How has your band over the years, you guys have been together for a number of years, how do you feel that you guys have changed over the years? Well, people always change as their life continues and the things that they experience, or hopefully they do. I mean, some people don't, I guess, right? I mean, like, this fucking dude in the gutter who drinks every day and throws up on himself and passes out in there and wakes up in the morning and does it all again. Maybe his life doesn't change at all. But that's not like you guys, though, right? You no, we, we, are not, we are not doing that. That, okay. that is true. Okay. That is true. We're not doing that. Okay. And, and I don't drink beer. I drink Guinness. Oh, okay. And so that said... You know, that, that would never happen to the me. The distinction has been made. Yes, it has been. Um, <laughs> reference to my, my Irish heritage. Okay. But um, that said, um, certainly the band has 
has changed over the years. And um, I think that it, at this time in our lives, we're in a place where we probably incorporate um, personal stories and things that we've experienced a little bit more so than in the past. In the past, I think um, our songs were very black and white. Um, as time's gone on, we've tried to incorporate uh, people's stories and people's lives into our songs. And uh, as a result of it, there, there's still a political message because I still think, well, I, I personally believe that, you know, you're your, your life is political, and our personal stories are political. It's what you put in your body. It's where you choose to spend your money. Uh, it's the experiences that you go through based on the color of your skin or your gender or your sexual orientation. Um, these are all, you know, the personal is very political. Um, and, uh, however, you know, um, there are certain issues that we would touch upon that maybe people miss that aren't they wouldn't necessarily see those things as being political. If they look a little deep or deeper and think about it, they'll, they'll certainly see there's something in there, some kind of statement being made. Okay, cool. Um, so your most recent album um, is named The Bright Lights of America. It came out in March. Mm -hmm. um, how has your fan base responded to this album? I think they responded like they respond to every one of our records. I mean, there's people who are really excited about it and right. people who aren't as excited guess, and, yeah. and people in the middle. I mean, it's one thing that we've learned throughout the years is that you can't make everyone happy. Yeah. And if you tried to make everyone happy, you wouldn't make a record. You wouldn't write a song because everybody's got a different take on what you do. So what you, what in the end, what you have to do is make the choice to do what you love to do, do what you think is right, and then, and then do that with all of your heart and soul. And that's how, that's how we make every record. That's how we play every show. And that being the case, um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of diverse opinions about our record, and, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I think that um, uh, I love debate. I love for people to talk about uh, what's going on in the world as a result of the songs that we make, and, and that's, that's why we're a band, uh, to create that kind of dialogue to get people thinking. And um, so I think we've been successful with this record in that regard. Okay, that's cool. So the message, the message you tried to convey to everyone, is that, that's, still, that's still been the same over, over the years, right? Yeah, I mean, when it, you know, I, I basically started Antif like with, with my best friend Pat, and, you know, from the beginning, the, the, the true, I think the most, most important message to us has been an anti-war message. And the idea that people are not bombs, they're not bullets, they're not a color of skin, they're not a sexual orientation, they're not male or female, they're not a nationality, they're not a flag, they're human beings, and we need to treat each other accordingly. That, that core message has certainly been there throughout the years, and the idea that when you join the military, you are more than likely not going to fight for freedom, democracy, and these kind of higher ideals that you're sold whenever you join the military. You more than likely will be fighting to preserve the riches of some multinational corporation. I think that, um, I think that Iraq is a great example of that. And um, so those, those are the kind of specific points that you know, like, and every record always sets out to make. And, and we certainly cover those, those ideas in this, la this latest record. <laughs> Great talking to you. Uh, we really appreciate it. All of our viewers definitely appreciate it. Just uh, tell us where we can find you and your band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out uh, Anti Flag at a n t i dash f l a g dot com. That's anti flag dot com. You can check us out at MySpace at uh, MySpace forward slash anti flag. There's no dash there. It's just a n t i f l a g. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff there on the web. Uh, you can check out on YouTube or at our website. You can check out some of the coverage from the. Uh, from the protests at the Republican National Convention. There's some good stuff there, too. Thanks a lot. Take care. Peace out. Great, great stuff. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, my friend. It was, it was, it was a pleasure. I hope so. <laughs> pleasure for me as well. Okay, we'd, we'd like to remind you, though, that you have to find us on Facebook. And also, please, subscribe to our iTunes podcast. Hell yes. Do it. We, we need you to do that. Very much so. So, thank hey, you. While we're at it, if you don't mind, check out democracynow.org. I, I believe that the first step to people making a change in the world is being armed with information. It's democracynow.org. It's an independent news program. It definitely gives you the information that you wouldn't hear anywhere else. So it's democracynow.org. Check it out. Check it out, and we'll see you next week. Word up. Thanks, man. Awesome. Okay. Okay, now. Hey,
this is Justin Sane from Anti-Flag. I just want to let you know to look for the iPod. Wait, no, the iTunes podcast. My bad. <laughs> we could use that. This is Justin Sane from Anti-Flag. I just want to let you know to down... What is it? To download? I've never done this. Well, I just heard you talk about it. Okay, subscribe. Okay, yeah, check it out. Here we go. Right on. Yeah. Hey, check it out. This is Justin Sane from Anti-Flag. Just letting you know to subscribe to the iTunes podcast of Amped Up TV. Take care. Peace. Perfect. Okay, good. <laughs>